Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start talking about actually rendering this out. And I would like to put some mist in the background. I'd also like to put some glare on Suzanne. So the first thing I'm going to do here is um, render a mist past. And we're not going to use much, just enough to make it kind of the, the detail sort of fade out just a little bit in the background. I still love that blue sky and the blue ocean together. So we're going to keep as much of that as we can, but we're going to go for a little bit of realism at least. So a little bit of mist. Um, I, I, in my world settings, I want, you know, I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and start here at 5, and let's just for fun move that out to like 500. Um, on my camera, let's see here. Camera settings, I want to see that. Um, also, I would like to uh, set focus on my empty because that's right around where Suzanne is, is appears at first and then it's where she right where she's at and then for the radius size let's try 0 0.04 I'm not sure about that we might actually reduce that so let's let's look at that right now um, hitting shift Z to kind of do the the um, viewport render yeah, that's, I mean, it kind of looks, yeah, it looks okay, actually. It's a little blurry in the background. All right, so let's try, I'm going to set that to 50% here, just so I can do a quick render. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so we'll probably end up pausing. Um, okay, so I've got the mist pass. Okay, I think, I think that's what, what all I need. see how fast this comes up while it's coming up one thing I did I set tile size to th to 32 and um, actually I wanted to talk about user preferences this is the blender daily build of 2.79 where you can use your GPU and CPU together that speeds up things quite a bit so okay so there it is there's your ocean surface there's your foam and your other foam in the background. Now I'm, you can even on this, is it done? Okay, there we go. Even on this, you can still see that that foam is a little bit powdery. I would rather have it small and have a lot more. Have it just, I mean, just reduce the size of this and have it be a lot more, but for our purposes, this is what we've got. It actually looks kind of okay. Um, in video, I think it'll look a lot better. I do like that focus, so it's a little blurry in the background. Now I'm going to go to one of my um, um, my add-ons that I love. It's called Easy Effects, and I'm going to sort of let's see, add glow, and that's a bit much. Um, Let's see here. Uh, rendered layers. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, also, threshold of one. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the mix so that we still have maybe negative 0.25. Okay, so we still got some. And then now I'm going to add a little bit of um, vignette. I love vignette. Point, uh, not point. That was 70, so I'm going to set it at 40. Yeah, not much, not much. Okay, so now um, that's sort of an automated way of doing things. Easy Effects is a, is a free add-on, so I mean, if you want to, you can get that. It, it helps me to keep from thinking about how to make a vignette. Um, <laughs> look at all this. Lens distortion greater than blur, and I, I just don't like thinking about that stuff. Um, it's easy enough. I mean, I thought, <laughs> I figured out a way to make, to do all of this, so I could probably pretty easily pick that up. I just don't like worrying about it. So, um... Okay, so we've got the mist. I'm going to add a color mix node. 
and then um, for the factor, I, yeah, there we go. Yeah, well, that's way too much. See, I just want to kind of fade out the background just a little bit. So converter, color ramp, ah, color ramp converter um, into the factor. And then let's, actually, all I want to do is this. Yeah, just a little. So what happens if we mute this? Okay. Um, also, what happens if I do this? Yeah, all it doesn't do much. It kind of brings it forward a little bit, but you can barely see it. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so um, that's sort of my setup, and at least for this, if you want to, you can go ahead and render out all 238 frames. Actually, let's reset that, 238. Um, anything after that is going to sort of start looking strange just because of, of the, offset, the offset that I took on some of those um, textures. So... Um, just to give you an example, let me see if I can find um, a video of this, because I did render this out actually earlier when I was trying to do this. Um, hang on here just a sec. Here it is, I think. Nope, that's not it. Sorry. Here she is. Okay. And there it is. You, now, if you look, let's hit, uh, let's do a repeat on this. Okay, so in the beginning, am I seeing any kind of stuff? Yeah, maybe a little bit over to the edge of the, the fluid. Um, you don't see it, though, if, if somebody isn't pointing it out. Um, one thing, actually, this... Oh look, okay, so let's let's let this pass through one more time. In the shadows, um, I'm not very happy. There's a lot of graininess from the denoising, okay? Looks pretty good though. So that's something I wanted to talk about. Um, as far as samples, um, okay, so I, here's what I tend to do. Um, let's close all these. Okay, so for denoising, all I do is click and use the default. And then um, for rendering, I go ahead and use 400 at least, maybe even 500 samples. So just to get rid of the, the noise that appears, um, like here, you can even see it on this, on this, on this image. So I'll tell you what, um, let's take one more look at the video. And I think everybody that does this, they're going to make it look so much better than mine. Um, I would like to um, actually increase, and I may do this as just for fun, um, increase the resolution on the simulation, like to maybe 500, and see what it looks like. I think it'll look pretty good. One of the things, let's uh, actually, I want to do one more thing here. I'm going to pause this at a resolution of 100 you see that drop there that's the smallest drop that you're gonna get and what happens is that we have all these little foam particles that make the resolution seem like it's a little bit more than what it really is those are the look at that those are the smallest drops we're gonna have but look at the splashes that's all that's all finer detail so um, if we went to 500 and then maybe covered up those, those the smallest drops a little bit with a lot of foam, um, it might look pretty good. So, all right, that's it. You've got the secrets. You've got the secrets. So you are all gods. Everybody who can figure out exactly what I was trying to teach, and I know it was tough. I'm kind of slow sometimes when I'm when I'm talking about this stuff. So go ahead and and uh, and make more cool stuff. And you know, um, 
there's not that many people watching this channel so if if you happen to make something really cool and you want to just leave a link so that I can see it I would love that thank you very much